In 2007, an absolute wrecking machine would not only capture the Ring of Honor world title, but carve a path of destruction as the most dominant champion since Samoa Joe. Takeshi Morishima had arrived, and there wasn't anyone in Ring of Honor who could seemingly stop him. One man would try over and over, and in my opinion, in that process, one of the best Ring of Honor rivalries came to be. Before Brian Danielson was leading the WWE Universe in Yes Chance and main eventing WrestleManias, he was winning over the hearts of fans by simply being one of the absolute best professional wrestlers on the independent scene. As Sheamus would say, Danielson was producing banger after banger after banger. As one would expect, the ingredients were there for something special to happen when Danielson would share the squared circle with the monstrous ROH champion. Their first singles encounter happened at Manhattan Mayhem 2 at the end of August 2007. Title on the line and in front of a ruckus crowd, Danielson is apprehensive to lock up with the larger opponent. So, Brian starts off by kicking Morishima's legs. The Brian Danielson in this match has always been my favorite version of the guy. The cocky, smirking, get in your opponent's head Danielson. It doesn't take long for Morishima to physically overwhelm Danielson and begin smothering him in offense. In an act of desperation, Brian sends Morishima over the barricade outside and launches himself into the crowd using his whole body as a weapon. Brian follows up with a chair shot to Morishima's leg before the two get back into the ring. Danielson keeps grabbing grabbing his eye as it's been injured, but after Danielson's kicks and chair shot, Morishima's legs are vulnerable too. This becomes the target of the challenger's offense as they head into a hot finish. The crowd buys the possibility of a title change when Danielson goes for elbow shots and a cattle mutilation, but the champion retains when he nails a backdrop driver. Danielson lost the battle, but the war continues at the ROH event called Man Up in September. The story going in is that Danielson suffered a broken orbital bone and a detached retina at Morishima's hands. So, this time it's personal. Unlike before, Danielson isn't interested in being cautious as he brings the fight straight to the champion. Brian's offense bounces off of Morishima, barely phasing him. After Brian endures a beating, he finally hits an insane dive to the outside. Danielson is finally able to chip away at Takeshi, and while Morishima is no pushover, this becomes Brian's match as he's relentless. Morishima does hit his devastating backdrop driver, but this time the challenger saves himself with a rope break. Morishima had promised to fight with honor and not exploit Danielson's eye, but that goes out the window. Not only does Morishima hit a second backdrop driver, but instead of going for the pin, he rains down elbows on Danielson's compromised eye until the referee is forced to stop the match. At the Ring of Honor show, undeniable, someone finally dethroned Morishima when Nigel McGuinness stepped up. However, Danielson wasn't through with Morishima as their feud wasn't about the championship anymore. It's November 3rd, 2007, Glory by Honor 6, Night 2, and Danielson doesn't wait for the former champion's entrance to end as he immediately jumps Morishima. Brian doesn't let up as he's eager to hurt Morishima in exchange for the way Morishima hurt him. Overcoming Brian's rage, Morishima levels the playing field, gaining the upper hand inside the ring. Morishima isn't shy about his intention to re-injure his opponent's eye. Despite all his rage, he still just a rat in a cage. Morishima beats Danielson down until he's nearly lifeless. Danielson knows what works though. Going back to what gained Danielson the advantage in their first match, he wrecks the big man with a springboard to the outside. Savagery ensues with the ring bell hammer. Danielson decides it's an eye for an eye. Morishima immediately counters with a backdrop driver on the outside. Being Morishima's finisher, Brian looks to be out cold. He musters enough energy to try to get back in the ring, but Morishima's right there to make him pay. Danielson struggles again to re-enter the ring. Morishima stops his bloody opponent once again. The underdog finally does get back into the ring and even avoids a second backdrop driver as he goes wild with elbow shots and kicks. The former champion answers with more cruel intention towards Danielson's eye. And that does it. Danielson stomps on Morishima's nether region like he's trying to put out a fire. He even throws the referee aside and a disqualification is finally called for. Danielson snapped. He even takes his frustration out on the locker room as they attempt to stop him. Even Nigel McGuinness comes out after lecturing Danielson. <laughs> well, I'm on Brian's side here. More brutality is in store at Rising Above in December. This time Morishima jumps Brian and there's a very bloody beginning to the brawl. Takeshi Morishima doesn't give Brian Danielson a lot of room to create a comeback, but Brian makes it happen. Of course, the first opportunity Brian gets, he unloads with kicks 
kicks, followed by a triangle choke. Morishima hits a lariat backdrop driver lariat combination, to which Danielson miraculously survives. The two take turns exchanging strikes until Morishima nails a low blow. It's relaxed rules though, so the referee decides not to issue a DQ, but Morishima follows up with more stomps to the groin. Morishima throws the ref, then goes after the officials. Amidst the chaos, Danielson uses the ring bell hammer to go after Morishima's eye like before. Officials drag Brian Danielson off. This battle comes to an abrupt end, but it's not over yet. The very next night at Final Battle 2007, it's Brian Danielson versus Takeshi Morishima versus Chris Hero versus Austin Aries in an elimination match. Danielson immediately guns for Shima as you'd imagine. As always, Shima has the physical advantage. There's a lot of tagging in and out, but I think I just want to see Brian and Shima beat each other senseless. It's fun watching everyone bump for the big man, though. The best stuff is when Danielson is tagged in, of course. Brian even tries a cheap pin because beating Morishima fairly hasn't been working. Brian isn't above teaming with Austin Aries to put the big man away. With their combined efforts in a surprising turn of events, Takeshi Morishima is actually the first man eliminated. Austin Aries pins Chris Hero to get him out of the way. It's come down to Austin Aries versus Brian Danielson as that rivalry continues. We see another classic dive into the crowd by Danielson. Danielson does go on to win the match via ref stoppage. That may be the story of this match, but the final chapter is yet to come. One year later, the main event of Final Battle 2008, A Fight Without Honor. There will be no disqualifications. This is it to settle the score. Brian Danielson comes out full of fire. He immediately attempts to gouge Shima's eye out with the ring bell hammer. Brian then goes for vicious kicks, and he's just giving this match his all. This is going to be another bloody one. As good as Brian is giving it, Morishima is just as willing. Morishima controls the situation, making Danielson bloodier and bloodier. Danielson keeps absorbing punishment. Takeshi Morishima's boundless wrath manifests with a chain around his opponent's neck. Danielson at least avoids a missile drop kick before fighting back. Morishima tries to shut it down, but Danielson nails a running elbow. Morishima is brought to a knee as Danielson kicks his chest again and again. Brian literally wipes the blood from his head and slaps Morishima across the face with it. There is some real intense action before Shima once again attempts to choke Brian with a chain. Danielson manages to hit a superplex. Danielson grabs the chain that Morishima has been using and now uses it to wrap around Morishima's neck as he locks in a triangle choke. Morishima survives this and even goes to finish his opponent opponent off with a backdrop driver. Danielson is spared by a rope break. Brian smartly uses the chain to tie Shima's hands behind his back. It doesn't slow Morishima down a lot, but a low blow sure does. A lot of below the belt damage is inflicted. Brian wraps his elbow with the chain and strikes Takeshi Morishima into oblivion. Danielson locks Morishima into cattle mutilation and it's finally over. Danielson puts Ring of Honor over before the show comes to a close. This is how it's done, folks. A feud built primarily around in-ring storytelling as Morishima couldn't cut promos in English. Talking wasn't necessary in order to tell this tale. As I look back on these matches, I am able to appreciate what Ring of Honor gave to us. These matches were so good and I encourage anyone watching this to seek them out.